it's Friday. I got out of work early to go down and get the boys. As most of you guys know, I drive quite a bit from our house down to pick up Caden and Tommy is anywhere between five and six hours, depending on traffic and just how fast I guess I decide to drive. I saw quite a few comments on what kind of car I drive. And I have a 2014 Mazda 6. Um, it's just the regular sport model, it's nothing fancy. But I just filled up a full tank right now. And as you can see, to a full tank is 515 miles right now. I get pretty good fuel economy on this vehicle. If I'm around town, if I don't really travel on the freeway, I can get probably between 350 and 450, just depending on how fast I stop and go around the city. If I'm doing mostly highway, I can get between five and 600. I have no complaints. I bought it brand new about three years ago now. So 76,528 miles in three years. So you could say that I drive quite a bit. Obviously the majority of those miles are traveling from Northern California down to Southern California to pick up Caden and Tommy. I would go down there pick them up come back and then I would also bring them back a lot of the times all right so we are starting the drive the journey down south I typically only fill up as soon as as soon as I leave the house I can make it all the way there on one tank and then I can make it all the way back on one tank I normally don't stop either uh, I went on a lot of road trips with my parents when I was growing up. Uh, we used to take our boat out, uh, we'd drive out to Lake Havasu, and we typically did not stop very often. So I kind of developed what me and my dad call is a road trip bladder. <laughs> so basically we don't stop to pee. So that definitely makes the trip a little easier. I also don't stop for food. Um, I bring my own. So I have my two Cliff Bars. My favorite ones are the peanut butter ones. Um, they're really good. And need a little bit of energy. So we got a Red Bull as well. I'll stop if I absolutely have to and get something, but nine times out of 10, I, I won't stop. It's already a long enough drive to, you know, go all the way down there and I'd rather just do it in one sitting. If you guys have probably noticed, the camera's in a different spot. I did have it over on this side, on more on the driver's side. But I feel like it's easier to talk, I guess, and kind of see. It's, it's more awkward if I look at the camera while I'm talking instead of just focusing on the road and talking and pretending like it's not even there. I don't know. I'm still getting the hang of it. I'm still getting used to having a camera right in front of my face. I saw a lot of comments about being in more videos and doing like a tag video of some sort. I'm still, I don't, I don't know if it's camera shy or if it's just awkwardness. Um, but there is a difference between sitting here and just rambling about my day than there is sitting down um, in just one spot with the camera just like set up and just kind of put on the spot and going through your your life basically I'm not much of a of a talker I understand that there's like a different kind of point of view because Jessica makes her living doing vlogs and talking about her life and you know life events and everything that's happened and you guys just kind of know everything that you know she's gone through and that she's going through and just you know just everything that you guys know about her um, I'm not like that so it's a little hard for me to open up to people that 
I really don't know. If that's gonna happen, it's gonna take time. So I hope, I hope everyone can understand that. But I am open to share things. It'll take time to get personal. So obviously this whole thing is new to me and I'm surprised I'm doing it. So give it time. So this is one of those moments where I talk to myself when I'm driving. I don't know how many people live in California or how the freeways or highways are in other states really. Here, we have a freeway that is three lanes across. If you have a driver's license, you should know this. The number one lane is the closest to the median. So it goes, the median's there, one, two, three, four, etc. So the number one lane is the fast lane because it's all the way on the left and that's just, that's just, those are just the rules of the road. You should know that. The fast lane on this freeway was ending. So typically I'll stay in that lane until it ends and then merge over to the number two lane, which eventually turns into the number one lane. Well, people in the number two lane know that that lane is ending and don't like to let people in. That's when I get mad. And that's, that's exactly what happened to me, like not even two seconds ago. I wish I could have flipped the camera around so you could see. God. So, it's Friday. I got somewhere to be. I want to get my boys, get back home, and deal with the least amount of idiot drivers that, that, that could possibly show up on the road. Good news is, he's behind me. <laughs> Sucker. Alright, so this road trip vlog is probably just going to turn into a giant rant of how, how, how much I look at other drivers and just how much I criticize. I just passed this lady. She's in the fast lane. She got over. And she's got both hands at the top of the wheel. And she's like so far up. She's not, she's not old. I mean, she's just... How, how is that comfortable? Oh, man. Maybe she's not driving, you know, 15 hours in a day like I am. But still, I'd get, I'd get a cramp in my back. That cannot be comfortable. We'll tune in again for uh, more criticizing as it comes in. So stay tuned. So I typically leave on a Friday and I try to leave early. I'll do like a half day of work. I'll maybe go in a little bit earlier to get on the road quicker and just beat the traffic getting there. Uh, it takes me about six hours. So traffic, beating traffic is definitely important, especially with the freeways that I take and the major cities that I have to go through. Uh, those, those are very bad on a Friday, especially probably like if I leave too early, I hit the traffic. And then if I leave too late, I'll hit the traffic. So I obviously by, by now, I know the schedule and I know what time I have to leave by and when I have to leave a certain another place by so I've got it down now over the last few years so since everybody is all wanting to know me about me I am an only child I have a uh, I have a pretty dry sense of humor uh, let's see here a lot of people middleman between when a truck brings fuel to a gas station. Uh, we're the middleman be between that. We're the, we're the stop in between. I'm not really going to go into too much detail about that. I don't know, not too much to talk about. I don't feel like I have like a traumatic life. I don't know. I just feel ordinary. I don't think there's 
anything too exciting about me or my life, but, you know, people just want to get to know me, and that's fine. How the heck do people vlog all day long, every single day? Like, I can't even talk for more than, like, five minutes without running out of something to say. This is what I'm saying. I'm boring. I don't know what to do. Let's see. Give you guys, like, one one little piece of information that I'm an only child and like that's like satisfying for me I don't feel like there's anything else important to say I don't know if I think of something I'll come back this is the way I have to come back home and as you can see it is completely shut down this truck is literally just fully engulfed in flames so this is going to definitely suck. That is this whole way home. Oh my god. Hopefully everybody's okay. Oh, there's a fire truck. So wow, this, so this just happened and the fire truck's not even there yet. Alright. So I cheated and I stopped and got a side of orange chicken from Panda Express. It is my absolute favorite. I love orange chicken. I was contemplating just going and I was like, well, the drive through was completely empty. So I literally only was off the freeway for like five minutes. All right, so the battery is almost dead on the camera. Um, I'm about an hour, maybe an hour and a half away from Picking up the boys, uh, there's a lot of traffic as soon as I got into LA. Holiday weekend, of course, always happens. So I'm going to wait until I get Caden and Tommy in here to do anything else, just to save the battery since there's not much left. I didn't charge it before I left. I'm a rookie, I know. Hey. Say hi. 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 So how, do we have a long drive? Yeah, pretty much. Huh, boys? Yep. They got their iPads for the ride. So hopefully they don't bug me too much while I'm driving back. Huh? Yep. <laughs> I love you. Love you too, Daddy. You guys excited to get back? Yeah. Yeah? We're we, got, um, we got some surprises planned for you guys. We're going to go somewhere tomorrow. Yay! Is it the zoo? Uh, close. I can't. Oh, I know, I know. Ooh, is it the dinosaur exhibit? I can't tell you what it is. Mm. Battery's gonna die. What? They're happy. So, we'll see you when, uh, when we get home. This oh. battery's gonna die soon. Alright, we finally made it. Love you. Mm. yesterday but I was waiting on the ultrasound that we have so that way I could show you guys pictures but long story short the ultrasound did not work out